Howdy swim fans, welcome to another episode of Whiteboard Wednesday. And on today's episode, I'm answering the question, how many laps are in one mile? If you're new to the channel, welcome to My Swim Pro, where we share the latest and greatest swim training and technique to help you improve your performance and health. To answer the question, how long is a mile in the first place? It is exactly 5,280 feet. This translates into 1,760 yards. 5,280 divided by three feet in one yard gets us to 1,760 yards. Now, if you're familiar with competitive swimming, the 1,760 is not actually a swimming event. If we look at the swimming events, it is actually a 1,650 yard freestyle and a 1,500 meter freestyle. There is a difference between short course yards, short course meters, and long course meters. If you're interested in learning more about that, check out the Whiteboard Wednesday linked in the description that talks about the differences between short course and long course. I also don't want to leave out that a metric mile is 1,609.3 meters. So that is a mile in meters. If you swim in a 25 meter pool or a 50 meter pool, that is the actual distance you need to complete to achieve one mile. Fun fact, in the Olympics in 1896, swimming was first introduced and it was actually open water. There was no pool, so it didn't really matter between you know, meters or yards. And then in 1908, the London Olympics featured the first 50 meter swimming competition. And today in the FINA World Championships and the Olympic Games, you'll see a 50 meter pool contested in but you'll also see 25 meter and yard pools spread out around the world. Yards is really only in the United States, so for my American friends, hello. But for the rest of the world, we're talking meters. So how many lengths is it to do one mile? That is the question, and that is why you've showed up to this video. If you're in a 20 yard pool, and these are actually pretty common in the United States, it'll take you 88 lengths. Now the difference between a length and a lap, I know the title of the video is a lap, a length Two lengths is equal to one lap. So if you're actually talking about laps, it would really be 44 laps to equal one mile in a 20 yard pool. For the scope of this conversation, we'll keep it to lengths. It's a little bit easier to understand. A length is from one end of the pool to the other end of the pool. So for a 25 yard pool, we're talking 70.4 lengths. So you'll have to go from one end of the pool to the other end of the pool 70 times and then some to get you one full mile. Now, if you're in a 25 meter pool and you wanna do a mile, you're gonna to need to do 64.3 lengths. So that's, uh, that's a little bit less lengths, but you're swimming the same distance. Now, if you're in a 30 meter pool, and these are more common in Europe and other places in the world outside the United States, a 30 meter pool, you're gonna do 53.6 lengths. If you're in a 50 meter pool, these are common in the United States and around the world, you're going to need to do 32.1 lengths. It's also important to notice the difference between a yards pool and a meters pool because if you're doing a 1650 yard competition race, you're actually swimming 6% less than a true true mile. And if you're doing a 1500 meter swim, whether it's in a race or in, comp or in uh, practice, you're actually doing 6.8% less than a true mile. I will also note, fun fact, the longest pool in the world is in Chile. It is 1,013 meters. So if you happen to find yourself at this incredible outdoor pool in Chile, then you only have to swim 1.5 lengths to get to a mile because the pool is over 1,000 meters. That's over a kilometer. Now, before we talk about the nautical mile, I wanna introduce some awesome My Swim Pro swag. If you notice, I'm wearing a cool My Swim Pro t-shirt. We've also got a really cool hoodie. If you're interested in purchasing the swag, check it out linked in the description below. I'll also leave a link right here so you can purchase awesome My Swim Pro swag to represent when you're around the pool and share with all your friends. Now, the nautical mile is a little bit more complicated, but this is referred to in marine and aviation. It is one minute of arc of latitude along any meridian. Wow, what does that mean? So here we have a picture of the Earth, and I'll briefly explain it. Fun fact, the Earth is actually not a perfect sphere. <gasps> Yes, it is actually a little bit flatter on the North Pole and South Pole as you get towards the edges of the Earth. It's a little bit flatter. So this nautical mile actually gets longer as you near the poles. And here's my beautiful diagram. If you like my diagram, make sure you give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And essentially, it's one minute 
of latitude and one knot is equal to one nautical mile per hour. So because this changes and we wanna keep it standardized, there's an international committee that has standardized a nautical mile as being 1,852 meters. So 1.852 kilometers is equal to one nautical mile. So if you're open water swimming and you wanna do a true nautical mile, you're gonna actually have to do a little bit more because a true pool distance mile is 1,609 meters. And if you wanna do it in open water and you wanna do a nautical mile, you're gonna actually do 1,852 meters, which is gonna be even more than the 64 lengths you'll need in a 25 meter pool. But for the scope of pool competition and pool training, you can stick with these numbers right here. Now, before we go into the tropical mile workout, which is a mile long. I want to talk about two different training programs that we have. One of them is called the Couch to 1K. Now these are located in the My Swim Pro app, which is linked in the description. Now this program will take you from literally the couch, basically not swimming much at all. You have to know how to swim, but not much more than that. And we'll walk you through a workout plan, workout by workout, set by set, drills, improving your technique. And eventually by the end of the six week program, three workouts per week, you'll be able to do a continuous kilometer workout. So not quite a mile, but we're getting you there. If you're interested in doing a full mile, check out the Get Fit training program, which, which builds you up to a 1500 continuous swim. And so it's six weeks, three workouts per week. And both of these programs are really meant for beginners. So if you're a beginner swimmer and you're trying to build your way up to doing a continuous mile or a continuous 1000 kilometer swim, these are designed for you. The Couch to 1K program starts with a 200 meter workout on day one. Now that doesn't mean you need to do a 200 meter continuous swim. It's actually broken up by 50s or even 25 distances, but the total workout starts with 200 meters. Now the Get Fit, program starts with a 400 meter workout on day one. So that doesn't mean you do a 400 continuously, you can break it up, it is broken up by 50s and 25s, and eventually by the end of the six weeks, you'll gradually build and the training program will walk you through it set by set, how you can accomplish that. So if you're interested, make sure you check them out, linked in the description below. Let's talk about the Tropical Mile Workout. Now this workout is actually from World Swim Day, and this was the Tropical Mile themed workout of 2019 World Swim Day. It starts with a 200 freestyle, followed by 450s kick. Then we have a preset where we go 250s drill. For the scope of this video, we're gonna do six kick switch. So you're on your side kicking for six kicks. You're gonna take a stroke and rotate to your other side. Your eyes are looking at the bottom of the pool, really working on rotation and balancing the kick on your side. Then we're gonna go a 100 freestyle focused on applying that drill. That will complete our preset. Then we move into the main set, which is two rounds, three 100s free, followed by a 100 individual medley. If you're not familiar, the individual medley is 25 butterfly, 25 backstroke, 25 breaststroke, 25 freestyle. Check out the Whiteboard Wednesday that is linked in the description that talks about what the IM is and some different training variations of that. But for this, we're gonna go two rounds of that set. Then we're gonna do 450s freestyle cool down. Now this total workout is 1600 meters. Again, a true mile is 1609, so we're getting pretty close. Again, if you're in a yards pool, that actually will not equal a total mile because we know that a mile is 1,760 yards. But this workout will get you pretty close. I hope you enjoyed this video with a tropical mile, what the nautical mile is, and I almost forgot. I forgot to mention that the world record pace for a mile by Katie Ledecky is 15 minutes, 20 seconds, 0.48. If you wanna swim that fast, you're gonna need to hold one minute and one second, 0.3 per 100 meters. This was done in a long course pool. So shout out to Katie Ledecky, the current world record holder as of 2020 when this video is created. And on the men's side, we have Sun Yang with a 1431.02. This is blazing fast, holding 58.0 seconds on average. Fun fact, he closed in a 25 second on the final 50. So for all of my swimming nerds out there who have made it this far in the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to this channel to see awesome video content. This is my swim pro where we help you improve your performance and health. And that concludes this episode of Whiteboard Wednesday. Happy swimming.